I've always had trouble finding myself in his face. You know, when I was a kid, I used to stare up at the wall and convince myself we were twins. But I didn't ask you here to talk about my dad. I want to talk about you, about us. You know, I wanted to make a picnic like you did on our first date, but I couldn't really figure out where you got those cool airplane cups, and I never really told you why I ran off so early. But I was nervous. <laughs> Oh, kind of like I'm really nervous right now. Look, I want to talk to you about something, but you have to promise me that you won't say anything until I'm done talking. And I know that's kind of hard for you, but you have to promise me. Okay. So, all my life I feel like I've been wondering whether or not I'm ever going to be as much of a man as my father was. And now, I'm up all night afraid I'm going to become the man that he was. I mean, let's face it, I've got High School Hero Life Zero written all over me. Except for you. You're like this beacon of light guiding me through the darkness. You're like this gold star and for some reason, you chose to let me love you. And I feel like if I can convince you to let me keep on doing that, it's gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. So, I had to open up my first credit card to get this, and I know it's not a swimming pool full of dancers or a tux, and it's not very big, but it's a promise. A promise to let me continue to love you for the rest of my life. All you've gotta do is say yes. Rachel Berry, will you marry me?